All right, y'all, today I'm taking leftover ground beef with peppers just from the, um, it's basically the enchilada filling. So the ground beef, peppers, and seasonings. I'm going to take one of these that we got randomly for free. 310 calories, 16 grams of protein. With the beef, I'm also going to have it with some rice and a chewy bar and a banana. I meant to make a breakfast sandwich last night and didn't, so I'm probably going to have oatmeal with that banana for breakfast um, or some frozen fruit if I have some at work already, but let's head out. Okay, quick OOTD, this shirt from Amazon. I also have it in black. I love it. It comes in a ton of colors. Tucked that into just some jeans. This thing my mom gave me, I don't know, couldn't tell you where it came from, probably TJ Maxx. Um skinny jeans and these brown shoes which are also from amazon super comfortable they get a little bit of a crease but i they're comfortable and that's what i need for work and i think that they look pretty cute so that's the outfit All right, y'all, here is dinner. I have um, two of the carb balance. These, but the smaller ones, we had some smaller ones left over. So these ones are 70 calories. I'm using the 45. I love these, they're delicious. So we got two of those, some extra sharp cheddar, cheddar cheese, some steak that Morgan grilled up for us. I also added some bell pepper to mine. Um, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of white sour cream and try this creamy chipotle sauce on it. I think that's gonna be delicious. I'm so excited. So this is um, 40 calories for one tablespoon, a little bit high, but it's, um, I think it's gonna be kind of spicy, so I wouldn't really need a ton anyways. And yeah, I'm excited to try it. And then we have chips and salsa on the side. Love these. And then some salsa, we just got this one at Sprouts. It's pretty good. I would rate it like seven out of 10. What about you, Morgan? Yeah, somewhere right around there. Yeah. So yeah, there's our dinner. Today's Monday. I just left work for my lunch break. I'm actually headed to the post office to pick up my debit card. Hopefully it's there. Our mailboxes have been broken because somebody broke into them. I don't know. So now we have to pick up our mail at the post office. So that's where I'm headed. Um, and then I'm going to stop at HEB, I think, and get sushi. That just sounds really good. There's a lot of stuff over here, like a Chick-fil-A, Popeye's. And there's a lot of stuff, but I don't know. Nothing sounds as good as sushi right now. And sushi will be better on the calories. I'll get in good protein. So I think overall sushi is just gonna be a solid choice for today. Um, Morgan uh, left town today, which I wasn't expecting. He wasn't expecting it either. Uh, we found out last night when his boss texted him that they, like all of them, were going to somewhere in West Texas. I don't even know. Um, and he said for three days. So I don't know if that means he'll be back Wednesday night, hopefully, or he'll be back Thursday at some point. Um, yeah. So anyways, he left this morning. That sucks. <laughs> I've never stayed in our house. We've lived there about a year and I've never stayed there alone before. Like I've never spent the night in that house by myself. It's going to be fine. Like we have chance, our dog, and I'm like not afraid, but you know, it's just weird. It's just different. Oh crap, I missed the exit. You're kidding. You're kidding. Okay, well, hmm, that's unfortunate. Um, so anyways, he's not here, so I'm kind of riding solo for the week. I didn't get groceries yesterday. Well, okay, I say we found out last night. I wanna say, no, yeah, it was last night. I had decided not to go grocery shopping yesterday even though I very much should have but we went out to lunch and had a day date and I was tired and I went home and took a nap and that's all I did yesterday um but I was gonna go get all of our groceries today but now he's not gonna be here for a few days it just seems like my list is gonna change because we've got like random Trader Joe's stuff that I can eat that he doesn't really care for so I thought I can definitely make some dinners just out of what we have but I also need to go to the store because a few things on the list I need for a video I'm filming this week, which is gonna be a what I eat in a day, um, all TikTok recipes, which I'm really excited about because there's just like some really good, it's just like a fun way to try new recipes. Um, 
so yeah I would eat I would try them anyways they're like on my list of things to try and I just thought why not try them all in one day and it would be a fun video so that's the plan and I have some really good stuff coming like a chicken BLT wrap and this like amazing chocolate chip cookie oatmeal thing like I'm just really pumped about it a really good pasta dish it's gonna be great so I need to get some stuff for that um and what else I need to get some coffee you know the basics so anyways um that's kind of what's going on today then I have some sushi so I'll show you what I decide on at HEB probably I'm really hoping they have that like tuna delight thing it has like two mini rolls and then like I don't know it's like a it's like an assortment of sushi and I really like it and it really fills me up versus just getting like the one roll so fingers crossed they have that I also might get the HB version of Takis I think they're called like Fuegos or something like that they're so good I honestly like them more than Taki brand um the Trader Joe's ones are still the best though the chili lime like rolled up tortilla chip things. I can't remember what Trader Joe's calls them, but essentially they're Takis, uh, but they're not as spicy. Trader Joe's is still very spicy. H-E-B is not as spicy, which I like, but Trader Joe's, their seasoning is just on point. Anyways, I'm gonna go hopefully get my debit card and then go get some lunch and we'll chat with you guys at that point. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, got my sushi, mission accomplished. Um, I got just the H-E-B brand Coke Zero because it's the best. Um, I got a side of the sushi sauce, which is kind of like a sweeter sauce. Um, I only use about a tablespoon of it just for some of the rolls. They didn't, usually I like the spicy mayo, but they didn't have it. And I was in too big of a hurry to ask them to make some. Or not like make some, but give me some. So I got the spicy tuna combo. So excited. So it's basically a half roll. It's like one and a half rolls. You get a half roll of three different kinds. Um, there's crunchy spicy tuna, the uh, regular spicy tuna, this is the regular, this is the crunchy. I don't know what this third one is. Oh, it says Houstonian roll, whatever that means, just tuna avocado and those little like green fish egg looking things on the top. So that's what I get. I always get a raw overcooked, I don't know why, I just find that it tastes better in my opinion. And then I got an extra soy sauce as well. They didn't have the chips I was looking for. This is a different H-E-B than the one I usually get sushi from on my lunch break. And the other store, for some reason, has those chips everywhere, those Takis one. But this, I looked on several aisles and they didn't have them, so boo. I'm sure they had them back in the chip aisle, but I didn't want to walk back there. Um, and if I'm really dying for some chips, I know we have some at work, so it's fine. But I'm legitimately starving it's one o'clock i left work at 11 40. i gotta get back to work and i'll see you guys after i'm also pretty sure i'm just going to order a pickup um order from heb as long as my time slot is still open i have to redo my heb app to my new card so i haven't hit order yet but i do have everything in my cart and as long as my time slots open i'm gonna just do a pickup order after work to try to get home sooner to the pets and I've got some prepping to do for that video for tonight. So, I'll see you guys later. Hey y'all, I'm home now. I went to Walmart just to kill a little bit of time because my grocery order at HEB wasn't gonna be ready until five. So I you know, left the office about 4.20, went to Walmart and then picked up the grocery order. Also, we have a new shelf in the background here. We used to have a little wine barrel table, which we have since moved to the front room because we've completely rearranged and redecorated that room. It looks really good. I'll show it to you here in a minute. But we hung up this, this is just a wine shelf from Amazon, I can link it for you. But heads up, it was a pain in the booty to hang because the pieces I'll show I'll show you later but the pieces that hang down aren't all like flush with the wall so we had to kind of work with it anyways it's up there and it's super stable and I'm really happy so anyways 
Um, let me just show you what I got. So at Walmart, like I said, I was just kind of killing time. Really went there for coffee, um, which I did get. But one thing, okay. one thing I also got was this little PJ set that was $11, well, $12. It was like $11.87. Okay. So I couldn't decide if I should get the large or the medium. So I went the large because I figured PJs, you want them to be extra comfy. Loose is totally fine. So this is the top and it's just like, you know, blue leopard or whatever. And then these are the little shorts and I just thought those were so cute with the little frills. So um, yeah, hopefully these aren't too big. I think that they're just PJs, so it'll be fine either way, but really liked those and I thought for 12 bucks, yes. Then I also got a pair of like athletic shorts. I had a pair from Walmart and ended up returning them. This is a different style. I also got these in a large. I didn't even look at the medium, but I just remember the last ones being too tiny. So I thought, let me go ahead and get a large. Um, and these come with pockets, which I really like. Um, and yeah, they've got this little seam on the booty. On the back, that's this one right here across the back. Um, and yeah, I just like them for running around weekends, throwing a tank top with it. Good to go. Um, those were only $9. So I got those, not on sale. They're just like $9.97 or whatever, so 10 bucks. Um, and then I got coffee because Community Coffee, we have found it at Walmart, and it's so much cheaper. So we get this size at HEB for like $8 and some change, like eight fifty or something. Ridiculous. At Walmart, it's like $5.60. So I got the New Orleans blend. This is my favorite. And then they didn't have it in the large size, or I would have gotten it, but they did have the cafe special in the large size, and this was $12. So we're stocked up on coffee, which we desperately needed. And then from H-E-B, this is in no particular order, but we'll just jump into it. I'm too lazy to lay it all pretty like I always do, so here we go. Lean ground turkey. I think I'm going to have some of those um, like beef and rice bowls that I make, but I'm going to do it with ground turkey. Um, thin sliced chicken breast. That is going to be for the lunches that I'm making this week. A lot of this stuff is for the TikTok recipes video, which now that Morgan's out of town is basically gonna be my lunch, the same lunch and dinner and snack for like three or four days. Um, I got bow tie pasta for the dinner portion, which is a pasta dish. And I did get the protein one um, because why not have a little extra protein when eating pasta. Um, I got some sugar-free maple syrup. Maple syrup is one of the few things that I can eat sugar-free and I think tastes just as good. Um, there's a lot of things that I can't even touch that's sugar-free, but I do think the maple syrup, the maple syrup is fine. Um, and just for the calories, five calories for two tablespoons, like, yes. Um, I hate the Walden Farms, though. I will say that. I think that's gross. Anyways, I also got some PB2 powder. I needed that for a recipe, and it's just good to have on hand. We like it with fruit and other things like that. Um, we needed more soy sauce, so I just got the low sodium option. Three cans of tuna. This is actually going to be for the snack, which I'm really excited about. Um, also some chocolate chips, which is for a recipe. Uh, sesame oil, which is in a lot of recipes, and I always just omit it. Um, but it was in one of these recipes, and I thought, you know, we'll just buy sesame oil, and then we'll have it. Because you really just use like a few drops at a time, so that's going to last forever. Also got some of the fully cooked turkey bacon from H-E-B. Two slices is 40 calories and five grams of protein. That is for the lunch. Um, some spinach feta chicken sausage. That's going to be for the pasta dish. My favorite, um, not my favorite, hummus, one of my favorite dips. I thought it was going to be the red pepper one, but I forgot. I got sun-dried tomato basil hummus. That is going to be for a really good recipe, so stay tuned for that one. Baby spinach. This was just had a coupon and I was just curious. Crispy dillies. You put them like on salads. They're just, it says fried cucumbers, pickle flavored. Um, it says great on burgers, mac and cheese, and potato salad. So I'm not, I'm not sure who's putting pickles on mac and cheese. Let me know if you do that because that seems odd, but let's give it a try. You know, there's like those crunchy salad toppers. You can have... A tablespoon and a half for 40 calories. A curiosity, you know, there's no other reason. I just wanted to know what this tastes like. Hmm. They're good. I wouldn't say they're overly pickle flavored. 
they kind of um they kind of just taste like the breading on a fried pickle where you get like a little bit remnants of the pickle but you missed the pickle in the bite pretty good i'll use it i think they're good whatever um what else oh the olay extreme wellness wraps those are just really good to have on hand these are 50 calories um and they have 11 grams of fiber so that's good um also got some bananas we always need bananas i love to take those to work with me so does morgan we'll have plenty by the time he gets back which sadly isn't until thursday we were hoping for wednesday night but he's like no i'm pretty sure i'll be here till thursday uh, they had, we needed body wash, so we always buy this one. It's like $9, um, and it lasts us for a while. Me and Morgan just both use it. But they had, um, it's like nine twenty. They had a coupon, $5 off your basket if you spent $15 in Dove. Um, and so I thought, well, let me just get something else because it would essentially be free with the $5. Um, so I got this. It was $6, Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. Um, it's just like an exfoliating scrub, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I hope that's what it is for the shower. That's what it looks like. It was like six bucks. So I met it and basically, you know, it was like free because I got $5 back and it was basically $5. So yay. Um, I got a cucumber. I hate that they, like, what is the purpose of these bags? Does anybody know? I just feel like you don't need them. Other than like it keeps stuff together. It's just not necessary. I also did not order three avocados, but okie doke avocados and they all this one might mm, they're all really firm none of those are ready bummer because i kind of needed one today red bell pepper three roma tomatoes and two zucchini very tiny zucchini really glad i got two because i almost got one um the cucumber is a good a good size and I think that that's it. Oh, and uh, Celsius. I didn't know that they came in four packs. These are like an energy drink. So yeah, I wanted to get this. It does have caffeine, I'm pretty sure. Right? This is an energy drink. Healthy energy, yeah, okay. I ordered the watermelon because I've had that one and I liked it, but I guess they were out. So I got kiwi guava which I think is a good substitute. So I'm glad that that's the one they chose because there was a couple flavors that I was like, no, I don't want that. I think one of them was the green tea, which I've had, but it wasn't sparkling. So I hope, and this one is sparkling. So yay. And these have like no sugar or whatever. Um, should an energy drink, four packs of those. And that's pretty much everything that I got. Let me show you um, the shelf and our firms. It's so cute. Okay, so here is this. Um, that's our hallway. We were mopping and vacuuming this weekend. This is something that is for that needs to hang on the office wall. I just haven't put it up yet, so it's still in the box. But this is what the shelf looks like. So it's kind of got this nice little wood shelf. Here you would put like wine, which is why it comes with this front part. This is it from the side. I'm so. <laughs> if you know the meme, then you know. Um, so yeah, I don't know if this is how it's gonna stay, but this is how it looks so far. Um, this little thing, I will link the Etsy shop we got that from. I'm obsessed. We just send a photo and she um, stitches you and then paints it to match your outfits. It's so cute. So that is what that looks like. And we just have our stuff hung up there on the bottom, kind of cleaned off the fridge, cleaned off the top of the fridge a little bit. And then this, let me get the light. Okay, so obviously this is the front door. I think we're going to move this rug to the back door or to the garage door. I'm not sure because it is um, kind of clashing with the new rug. This is Goodwill stuff. But anyway, so you walk in. We have that hung up. I'm going to get different um, pillows, bigger pillows. Um, I want this to kind of look like a bench. And I know that that's hung kind of high. But for Morgan to even be able to see himself in, he's almost, he's like 6'3". So... We need it a little bit taller, and I actually really like the height of it. I think it's fine. Um, we have our little baskets down there, and yeah, I just want this to be very bench-like. Those are just pillows I already had, but I'm going to switch them out. But like for selfie height, it's good. I like it. Okay, so then over here, this is what this side of the room, or like this room looks like now. I love it. If you remember, we used to have the couch on this wall. 
we have two of those. One we moved to the master room, but uh, the master bedroom. But we had two of those on this side facing that way. The table was, you know, turned. We didn't have a rug. Those were hung up, but it just looked, it looked a hot mess. So we got this new rug. I will link it for you down below. You guys, this cost me $105. I got 15% off and it was here in three days. It's amazing. It's not from Amazon. I will say it's not like the most high quality rug. <laughs> the most high quality. Okie doke. <laughs> It's not the most high quality rug you've ever seen. <laughs> Sorry, James is trying to play, but it's great. I mean, for $105, it's better than expected. It looks exactly like the photo and I'm very happy with it. And I figure, hey, we have pets. If it gets stained and we throw it out in a year, two years, $105 did the trick. So I'm happy with it. I just kind of threw some pillows that we already had on there. And truly, I don't hate it. Honestly, I think it looks pretty good, but I'm going to get some brown leather ones, I think, too, um, to kind of mix in. But I really like it. The basket back there obviously needs a little work. I would love to have a lamp over on this side, but we'll see. And then that is the barrel that used to be in the kitchen. And I just love the way that that turned out. The little plant um, and the vase that it's in is from Michael's. The frame, the frames are from Home Goods. That's Joanna, Gain, Joanna Gaines book. Um, this a friend sent me. So sweet. And we just love this room now. I love walking in here. I just think it looks beautiful. And then these were actually Morgan's. And we really like them. Just some New Orleans uh, photography. And uh, we picked out new frames whenever we moved in. And we just love this room. And he keeps his golf clubs in here and golf shoes, which is totally fine. That doesn't bother me at all. And I like that there's actually space for them now. What you doing over there? <laughs> you getting in trouble? <laughs> but yeah, I just love this room. I think it turned out so cute. I'm so happy with it. Yay. So anyways, that's the new room. I need to take some stuff to Goodwill. We have like boxes in the corner that I've been meaning to take for literally months and I keep forgetting. <sighs> but I have a lot to do. I need to put away the groceries. I have several more, e several more emails to send out because the binders, which were supposed to be here by tomorrow at the latest, are not showing up until Friday. So I'm emailing every single person that ordered one basically a your order will ship on the 8th when it was supposed to ship on the 5th I'm so sorry email um and I don't want to like put everybody in the same email so I'm just emailing people individually um I'm only about halfway through so I need to finish that I have a video to edit and probably prep possibly I'll say possibly prep um food for tomorrow if tomorrow is going to be which I think it will be the TikTok full day of eating TikTok recipes. I would like to film tomorrow, so I need to at least prep the breakfast and the lunch for that. So that's what's going on with me. Thanks for joining me today. I'll probably chat with you in a little bit, but for now, I'm gonna grab my laptop, I'm gonna change my clothes, put this stuff away. We're gonna relax on the couch. Well, we're gonna sit on the couch while we get stuff done.